Hi there, this is uh, Derivatives 5, and what I'm going to be talking about is, uh, well, what if you have a situation where y equals f of x over g of x? And um, once again, uh, you, you know, you, you may think, uh, I know how to do this, Andrew, uh, y prime is going to equal f prime over g prime, right? And, and I'm sorry to say that's wrong. There, there's no way around it. And, and I'll show you that later on, but uh, it's wrong. Just like in the product rule. Uh, y prime does not does not by any means equal f prime over g prime. So what we need to use is something called uh, the quotient rule. And uh, it's very similar to uh, the product rule, and actually you can substitute a lot of quotient problems to use the product rule. So just by switching, using a little bit of uh, algebra techniques to simplify things. But anyway, the situation will always end up like this, where g times f prime minus f over g, or minus f times g prime all over g squared. Notice that's g squared, not g prime squared. And uh, I know it looks really complex, um, but don't be intimidated. You won't need to use it all the time. Uh, it'll be just kind of like a, a fallback if you're really confused by a problem. Um, let me just walk us through uh, a similar problem, how we were doing it before. Um, remember when we did... Let's, let's do the same problem that we did in the product, right? y equals x squared. Um, but that is the same as, let's say, y equals x cubed over x, correct? That's the same thing, because, I mean, if you just divided that x out from the x cubed, then you would have x squared. So that makes sense. So, remember that we know that when y equals x squared, that y prime is equal to 2x. We know that. I mean, we're done that problem a few times now, but uh, let's say I don't know what I'm talking about, and we'll do it your way, and then we'll do it mine. So, let me try it out your way first. In y equals x cubed over x, okay? So, that would be f would equal x cubed, so f prime would equal 3x squared, and for g, that would equal x which g prime would equal 1. Thus, y prime, if it equaled f prime over g prime, would equal, what's that? 3x squared over 1, which is 3x squared, which is not equal to 2x. So realize that your, your technique that you were thinking about, you thinker you, is incorrect. We're going to use this. We will use this. So now let's use the quotient rule, okay? Quotient rule. So we have y equals x cubed over x. We're using the same uh, cloud that uh, I pointed out earlier. So basically, we're going to use this down here. y equals g minus f g prime over g squared. Right? So, just plug in the numbers. We have x we have f prime, which is 3x squared, right, minus f, which is x cubed, times g prime, which is 1. 
all over g squared, which is x squared. So, as we work this out, you'll see that we have this equals 3x cubed minus x cubed all over x squared. You see it yet? That's 2x cubed over x equals 2x. Works out nicely, doesn't it? So, while the quotient rule really looks complex, uh, it's important to realize that, uh, it, 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 once again, it just like the product rule. So the system makes it easy. Just don't deviate from the system. Really draw it out. Use this little cloud technique that I'm using over here. Uh, it really helps out a lot of people. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the example portion of this lesson. Have a good one.